My name is James Duke. I'm the founding director of ADF Milking Limited. My background's in engineering. I've been involved in the milking machine industry for the last 25 years or so and always been fascinating, fascinated with giving our customers what they require really and innovative solutions to milking cows. We had a lot of customers milking a, a large number of cows and there was a lot of um, pressure to get cow throughput a few years ago um, and the effect of that was perhaps less desirable results health-wise. Um, the emphasis then very much shifted towards quality milk production. Financial implications of health became very paramount so really we endeavoured to give a solution to those farmers to enable them to produce healthier quality milk. There are three main key features of an ADF system. One is very gentle milking and gentle takeoff because we can vent the vacuum in the head of the liner. The second is immediate and very consistent teat dipping and also the liner's flush so every teat on every cow at every milking receives a sanitised liner. The benefits of the system are threefold really. It's a great device for saving labour and making use of productive labour instead of carrying out a manual task that can easily be automated. Um, but from the cow health angle it has some significant benefits because the teat is protected within seconds of the end of the milking we deny bacteria being drawn up that wide open teat canal with residual vacuum in the udder. Also every liner is flushed so we're not transferring bacteria from cow to cow. So to demonstrate the ADF cluster the cow is milked as normal. At the end of milking when vacuum shut off on the long milk tube we inject a calibrated amount of teat dip into a special manifold on the cluster. About two seconds after this, we follow that with a little shot of compressed air which delivers the teat dip via a spray nozzle into the head of the liner. The spray coats around the teat and at the same time overcomes vacuum in the head of the liner and the teat cup is gently removed from the teat. Once the cluster has been detached from the cow, after a short pause, we now need to flush the liner to remove any bacteria that's in the liner from the cow we've just milked, but also remove any residue of teat dip from the head of the liner. This is achieved by using the same nozzle that applied the teat dip to the teat, but because the shell is now inverted, our jet is pointing up into the barrel of the liner. So the flushing sequence is sanitized water followed by a shot of compressed air. A little bit like washing a milk bottle. Put a little bit of water in the milk bottle, give it a good shake and drain it. And you have the effect of scrubbing the inside of the bottle. Exactly the same principle. That process is carried out six times in quick succession. The first few flushes remove any organic material and the subsequent flushes sanitize the liner. A fresh solution coming in every time for very effective sanitization of the liner. The overseas market is really picking up. Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and certain European countries is really gaining momentum. Um, and, and it's almost coming to that tipping point where everybody knows about ADF, they know the benefits of it, um, and as some customers say to me, it's not, uh, it's not if they're going to order it, it's when they're going to order it. Issues overseas are very, very similar to the UK. Health has a cost, whether it's in the UK or overseas and um, all dairy businesses are striving to be more competitive in the market. There's little control over the price you can sell your milk for, but you can control the cost of production. A, a lot of my time has been spent overseas at the markets. We've got huge demand from New Zealand, Australia, Canada. Uh, we've got a list of countries that want us to go. We can't obviously go everywhere at once, but um, the key is to establish those markets with good support network before we move on to the next. Innovation is crucial. Without innovation, we wouldn't be moving the game on. But um, I think the, the design of innovation is critical as well. It has to be simple. Uh, nine times out of ten, if it's simple, it'll work. We have to remember this is a cluster sitting underneath a cow. So the simpler we can make that product, the more reliable it's going to be and the cheaper it's going to be long term to run. The company's growing. We've now got subsidiaries in New Zealand and Australia, two key dairy markets. We've got very strong distributors in Canada. We have casting our eye at the USA at the moment, which is a huge market, but we need to really be geared up for a market that size. And in several European countries, we've got first-class distributors and uh, exporting a lot of product. 
ADF Milking is an innovative company. We've got all sorts of exciting projects in the pipeline. We've got a very strong team now in the office and we pride ourselves on customer support and we've got a fantastic network of dealers.